Here we go. Brada's coming forward now. Massive race this. Tense times. We've had to wait very patiently for it as well. Here we go then. Three nice on. Long ball. Takes her up. Nicholas made a lovely start on the inside. He's got there. Lambert's there alongside him. Round the outside is Mikkel Mickelson. Hasn't quite worked from gate number four for him. Riders on the inside two gates with a freshly prepared track. They filed themselves to the front. Mickelson working hard. Asterick has gone to the back. But Freddie Lingwin didn't miss out there. He's lifted there. He's hanging on to the motorbike. Lambert is lurking in second place. But Chris, those inside gates working well. Yeah, working very well. I tell you what, Lambert, Robert Lambert's got plenty of speed. He's got a little bit more speed than Lingwin, whose bike worked really well off the start. But it's a difficult position to be in for Lambert because he knows that second place will do him. He doesn't want to risk making a mistake now. Into the last lap, Freddie Lingwin having to ride a touch defensively. Lambert looking very, very threatening in second place. One last blast down the back straight. Now Lambert electing to come to the inside. This is going to get awfully close. Lambert's stolen it. Fantastic. With this crowd on their feet again. Lingwin's through. What a stunning last corner from Robert Lambert. Not very long ago, he was resigned to actually putting the bike back in the van. He was going home. That down the M4. He's in the final. He's in the final. I want a race to go into the final, having just passed Freddie Lingard. I think he was just playing it safe on the inside in the last turn. Well, they managed to get up the inside of Lingard. Brilliant stuff. Result of first semi-final. Robert Lambert, stunning ride from him. He wins it. Freddie Lingard coming through in second place. They're both in the final. Nicholson and Martin Vasilik missing out. What a night it is. We've had everything here this evening. Controversy, chaos on the track, fabulous speedway. Well, we had to wait a while for semi-final number one, but it was worth waiting for in the end. We can see from the start, Lindgren there, clutch, bangs in. Mike lurches forward, gets there clear. Lambert got to be happy from gate two to get there in second place. Now at this point, Lambert really is left with decisions to make. He doesn't want to come under attack. He feels faster than Freddie Lindgren. He's a little bit worried about what's coming behind him with Mickelson attacking on the outside to start with and losing ground. Then he realises he's just got that much more speed than Lindgren. He's got to keep looking for a way past. Has to get off the throttle there as Lindgren moves over. And then I think he decides to play it safe coming into the last turn. Just cover the inside of the track. Bike hooks up, works well. Suddenly he gets an opportunity to win the race. Takes the checker flag. Freddie was just not quite in the right place. That middle part of the track, not enough grip. And as you rightly say, Robert Lambert just snatches the victory away. I'll give him a better pick for the final. Gate number two has worked well for Robert Lambert this evening. Holder. I'm going well. Jack's been really scrapping hard. Rock solid tonight. He had a sort of an average ride first time, and then it's been a couple of wins and a couple of second places. He's looked pretty decent. Here we go. Second semi final. He's going to join Lambert and Lingren in the final. Green light is on. Had a lovely start. He fires himself to the front. Holder missed out there. He's at the back. Round the outside. Here comes Kubera. Kubera. No real surprise to see him there. But I'll tell you what, very handy place to see. Lebedev's could be very threatening in third place. Muni's away. No mechanical failures. He's going to go into another final. And we know what it's like from then on. Here comes Lebedev charging round the outside. What a semi final we got here again. Yeah, Jack Holder now getting involved. Lebedev's can smell a final. He wants to be in a final here at Cardiff. Running around the outside. Jack Holder looking to the inside. Kubera holding firm at the moment. He's got to hang on to that second place. Dan Beauty looks great. Beauty's away. He's dominating the second semi final. Fantastic scrap for second and third. Lebedev's has really tried all he possibly knows. But Beauty and Lambert, they're going to be in the final. Cracky, that's close for second. I think Kubera is just about held on there. Because Lebedev's was coming at him rapidly around the outside. Bewley's missed the fireworks behind him. And you think what Robert Lambert and Dan Bewley have gone through prior to the semi-finals. Incredible. Bewley and Cabrera are through. Lebedev just misses out. Yeah. Got a heartbreak for him. He's had a great Seven, night. A missed five, opportunity two, for Jack Holder. Got to believe it. The Smarts not making the semis. Bewley.
He would have been hungry for a win tonight. See it again. Yeah, the big news from this race is Jack Holder not making the final. Dan Bewley, perfect from gate number two. Was on a warning, couldn't take any risks. Makes an absolutely superstar, as does uh, the rider in yellow there, Cubera, off the outside. Really just uh, looked like he'd got that clutch screwed in well and truly. Bike just jumped off the start line. Got himself in the second position, but I tell you what, Lebedev's rode well all race. Absolutely determined to get into the final, didn't quite make it. A couple of opportunities, it looked like he could have cut back and maybe run in hard up the inside, but he got awfully close. That is very close indeed. Well, in that picture, it does look like Cabrera's made it, but uh, it was a tight affair for second and third. No such drama for Dan Bewley. And gate number two, well, you couldn't buy a win from there earlier on. It's just won both semi-finals. Unbelievable.